The best time to switch from Firebase was when you were creating your project. The second best time is now. As of August 2025, Firebase Dynamic Links is getting shut down completely. With the release of Flutter 3.24, it was also marked as discontinued. So it is high time that we start looking for alternatives, and a very good alternative is App Links. And trust me, it's not paid and doesn't require a business account like Branch and App Flyer. Before we get started, let's understand what deep linking is. Deep linking is a way of driving customers to a certain part of the app rather than a generic web page. This becomes an overall welcoming experience for the user and is crucial for customer acquisitions. There are essentially two types of deep links. When the app is installed, deep links take the user directly to a certain part in the app. When the app is not installed, deep links are held or deferred and the user is taken to the app store or play store where the app is installed and then the user is taken to a certain part in the app. You might be asking yourself, how does all of this happen? We will get to the answer by the end of this video. I try my best to run away from native code setups, but in case of deep links, it's inevitable, so bear with me as I take you through this boring journey. To get started with Android, go to your Android manifest file. Add the following intent tags inside the activity tag with the name main activity. Both of these tags help the Android app App, identify your set URLs for deep linking and open the app when the URL matches. In the first intent filter, the scheme and host are set to detect the web URL of the app. This is helpful in case of deferred deep linking. In the second intent filter, we set a custom URI scheme that helps us in direct deep linking. Now run your Android app so we can install it on the emulator and then run this command. This will tell the ADB shell to pass this intent to the OS which will then match the custom scheme provided here and open the relevant app. Once you run this command in the terminal, you should get the following warning. Now put your Android app in background mode and run the command again. The app should open. Similarly, if you close the app and then run the command again, the app will open again. We've tested the custom scheme, but we haven't tested the HTTPS scheme. For this, in the emulator, tap and hold on your app icon, click on app info, click on open by default, then click on add link. The link that you placed in Android manifest should automatically load. Check the link and click add. Now go to the messaging app and send a message to someone with the HTTPS link, which in my case is Flutter Deep Link. Once the message is sent, click on it and you will be taken to the app. Now go to pubspec.yaml and add app links package to your project. This will give us the ability to process deep links and route them correctly inside our apps. Now go Go to main.dart and ensure the Flutter framework has been initialized, and then add code to listen to the deep links. This can also be found inside the documentation for the package. Now add a log statement inside the listener so we can see if the data is being captured correctly. Now test it with both custom scheme and HTTPS scheme like we did before, and you should get the following outputs in your console. Make sure the app is in debug mode. Android setup is complete, now let's move on to the iOS setup. If you're using Flutter 3.24 or above, go to info.plist and add this line. Then open your Flutter project in Xcode. Select Runner, go to the Info tab, and then go to URL Types section, and add your URL scheme and identifier, which in my case are Flutter Deep Link and my bundle ID respectively. After that, go to Signing and Capabilities tab in Xcode, and add the associated domains capability. Please note that this capability won't show unless you have an Apple developers account. Now hit the add button and edit it to add this line. Hit enter to save and then close Xcode. Now run the Flutter app, put it in background mode, and run this command in the terminal. This is the Android equivalent command for iOS which triggers the OS to process the custom scheme. The simulator will then prompt you to open the link in your app. Hit yes and your app will open. Now go to your debug console and you will be able to find the URI logged. You can also run the command 
happened when app is killed and you should be able to open the app. In order to test the universal link, we need to have a verified domain. So if you want to do that, go ahead and read the documentation. The link is in the description. Now that we are done with Android and iOS setups, let's implement routing logic in Flutter so we can parse our links. Consider our Flutter app as a books app in which each dynamic link will take the user to a certain book to buy. Our custom and HTTPS scheme deep links will look like this. Both the links have the same base URL and the book parameter, but the ID is a bit different. Inside the lib folder, create a pages directory which will have two files. First is the book list page which will have a stateless widget called book list page. Give it a centered text that says book list page inside the scaffold body. Second is the book details page which will display book details page and the book ID in a similar fashion. Now go to main.dart and add the routes to the material app. This will tell the app to navigate to the book list page if the route is book and book details page if the route is book details. Now create a file called deeplinklistener.dart. We will extract the deep link logic to this file and remove it from the main.dart file to keep things neat and we also need to have access to build context in order to navigate. Create a stateful widget called deeplinklistener and give it a child parameter then paste the code from the main.dart file to this file inside the init state method. Now let's write the logic for navigating with the deep link. If the first path segment of the deep link is a book, then we will take the user to the book list page. If the last path segment of the deep link has a book ID, and if it's an integer, we will take the user to the book details page with the ID provided. Finally, go to main.dart and wrap the my homepage widget with the deep link listener. Now go ahead and open your Android emulator, fire up the Flutter app and then put it in background mode and test the custom and universal URLs for the book app. The navigation should work for iOS as well, but we can only test custom URLs. Now to circle back, iOS and Android are both capable of processing custom schemes, and we not only implemented and tested them, but we see them getting executed every day through WhatsApp and YouTube. For a customer that lands on the web page, iOS has universal links, which are just like web links, but have embedded information. If the customer has the app on the phone, a banner is shown which takes them to the app, otherwise it takes them to the app store. And then the information is deferred until the app is installed and opened. Android has a similar functionality but they call it app links. If you're interested in deploying your deep links, you need to host some files for Android and iOS in your web page. And you can read more about that here. If you want to learn more about deep linking, I will leave the links to some amazing resources in the description for you. I hope you learned something new and here's the source code but before leaving please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel.